What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Pomona, California at the Off-Road Expo at the Pomona Fairplex. It's the LA County Fairgrounds. As you can see, this is a big event and uh, we're gonna show you what it's like to go to this show. It's kind of like SEMA, but this one's in California. It's open to the public and you can see all kinds of cool off-road vehicles. Nothing but off-road vehicles, so it's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. All right, so check this out. I'm at the Off-Road Expo in Pomona, California, and this Jeep caught my eye. Can you guess why? This thing has full independent front suspension. It's got IFS. Instead of a solid axle, it's got independent suspension up here. That's crazy. <laughs> they don't see that every day. They had to do a lot of work on this thing. So they took away the solid axles and put an independent suspension. That is nuts. Get this custom, uh, like almost like a stinger bumper with rigid industry lights fox shocks with reservoir shocks adjustable suspension general tires kmc wheels with bead locks that's cool look at this hood got a like an air induction hood big old got huge lights up top oh he's got a long travel suspension in the back look at that this is made for Baja racing for sure. Bombing through the desert. It's got two two spare tires in the back. It's got a race jack in the in the back here. That's nuts. Curry axles. Man, this thing is crazy. So it's basically a Jeep truck. It's like a, they changed it into a truck. That is so badass. That has got to be the coolest wagon ever. Look at that. <laughs> it even has a suspension on it. That's so cool. All right, so check this out. This is a Lexus GX 470 four wheel drive SUV. And the reason why this is really cool is because I have family in Hawaii that has two of these. <laughs> my brother-in-law, Ryder, has one. And then my mother-in-law also has one. And uh, this is what they, it could look like. They, there's this factory for the most part. This one's all pimped out. It's got a lift on it. You can see it's got King Off-Road Reservoir Shocks. Total Chaos Fab A Arms. Look at these Walker Evans wheels, bead locks, 35 inch Razor MTs. They are by Maxxis. I like these rock sliders. I don't know who makes those. Look at this bumper, man. This thing is huge. It wraps all the way around. I like that. Big old V8. It's always nice to get that torque. Look, there's a backup camera in there. I like that tire carrier. Swing away tire carrier. You get the uh, Lexus luxury. You get the Toyota reliability. That's nice. Looks like he has stock axles. But the suspension in general is all upgraded. That's nice. Let's see what's on the front. So up front got an aftermarket bumper this is a do bumper check out these uh, LEDs Baja design LEDs simple but still badass that's cool man I like that I got Kyle here from Winnebago and I think you guys are gonna like what he has here tell him all about what you got here yeah guys so this is the the Winnebago rebel this is brand new this is the first day that we're actually unveiling it to the public so this is an off-road adventure vehicle. Um, it's built on the 144 inch wheelbase uh, Mercedes 4x4 chassis. Um, so this really lets you uh, really go off the, uh, off the beaten path 
true four season coach, fully insulated. Um, this is the first time that we've uh, that a major manufacturer has made an off road adventure vehicle. Um, typically, uh, that, that people that do this, they buy a Sprinter chassis, do the upfitting themselves, or hire a third party company that you know has a year to two year waiting list, and then unfortunately you just have to pay cash for those. Uh, you can't finance them as an RV. Um, since we're the first major manufacturer, if you can nice. finance this out to 20 years, you know, oh, it really nice. opens up the space. So, you know, previously people that, that have wanted to, to live that lifestyle but haven't been able to afford it, this really opens it up to them. So it's, it's Mercedes on-demand four-wheel drive system, so you do have your high and low uh, options nice, as well. Nice, nice. Yeah, so coming on in, your captain chair swivel around. That's Real nice, nice workstation area. Um, everything's running off of a two kilowatt inverter as well as solar, so all of your 110 outlets, your oh, USB cool. ports and everything full off the grid camping. Um, this little area here makes a fantastic workstation. Let's also converts over to a bed. Um, so you just adjust these cushions. This countertop extension will drop right. down, changes into a bed. So a kid could sleep here easily, huh? Absolutely, yep. No problem. Um, here's your cooktop. Uh, you have a sink. This folds up, induction cooktop. So this runs off of your solar as well. 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. Wow. Again, stays frozen solid just off of your solar. This oh, is also right. a shower and a bath. Um, oh, cool. Look, there's a toilet yeah, right there. Usually only about 10% uh, of the consumer for this type of product will actually use the bathroom or the shower yeah. in here. So we wanted to leave it optional in here. You have your cassette toilet, um, so you can you know take and empty your tanks. You don't have to um, you know undo your campsite and drive out to empty your tanks. You yeah. just simply take the cassette with you. I like um, that. Has shower, has a drain, has a toilet. Um, but if you don't want to use it as that, that's why we put in these bamboo shelves. That's you get all kinds slick. of storage. Um, you know, for the surfers, people going out, it's a good place to hang your wetsuit because it has a drain and a vent. Yeah. Hang your wet, dirty gear. Um, it's just good additional space. It has a Euro loft, Euro loft bed up, system. Up, so simply just drop this down, 79 inches across, so you can be, uh, you know, over six feet and definitely sleep comfortably. It has an 850 pound uh, oh, wow. carrying capacity on it. So. So we'll two, two people, no problem, can sleep on that one, right? Easily. Yeah. Yeah. And when it's up, that's 140 cubic feet of storage back there. Wow. So, so you can put your bike back your bikes, there. Bikes, yeah. kayaks, surfboards, whatever it is, all your toys. You can see us uh, directly on WinnebagoIND.com. Um, here in Los Angeles County, these are being sold through Giant RV. Uh, that's where we're at right now, showing at the Off-Road Expo. What's their website? Um, that is GiantRV.com. Oh, okay. So awesome. these, are, these are brand new, first time we've unveiled this to the public. Uh, these will start landing on the dealer's lots for able to be purchased. Uh, just over the next couple weeks. All right, so me and my son are gonna take the Rubicon experience. We signed up, we signed our life away in case we crash and burn. But uh, we're gonna ride one of these Rubicons and go off-roading. Go ride the driver's seat. All right. All right, here we go. We're riding the Jeep Rubicon and we're gonna try riding the wall. Right now at the Rubicon Experience, the Rubicon Express sponsored off-road legend Jason Shear is taking you on a ride around the Rubicon Trail right here at the Rubicon Experience. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Of course. Have a good one. That was great. How was that? Like, That's cool, huh? You almost fell out. <laughs> almost, You're all the way on the... We almost, we almost like flipped over. And this Polaris Razor caught my eye. This thing has got all kinds of gear on it, man. It's four-wheel drive. I think this is a thousand cc, but look at this rack system. You got like, like this aftermarket rack system. You got a rack on top, LEDs, two jerry cans, a full size spare. That's pretty cool. You can seat four people in here. It's got a roof, keep the sun off you. That's nice, man. Check out these uh, seat covers. These are Smitty built seat covers. They uh, Velcro on there, but on the back they have like all kinds of pockets and like tactical gear and molly straps you can put all kinds of stuff on there that's cool then you have a, a hood mount like rack system Man, that is cool it's like having a jeep it's like having a little tiny jeep that could fit in any garage but it's fully capable off-road got the mat tracks i think these are mat tracks i'm not sure 
That is cool, man. Spotted this 1994 Ford Bronco, 4x4. This thing is uh, what OJ drove. <laughs> Here's the window sticker. 1994, 4x4, four 4-speed. Four Check it out. 10 miles per gallon in the city, 5 miles per gallon off-road. <laughs> That's funny. This is by DesolateMotorsports.com Check this out. MoneyPitClassifieds.com <laughs> Definitely going to put a lot of money in these things. Okay, let's go into the main hall here and see what it's like to go inside the main hall. Oh yeah, look at that. And this Jeep caught my eye, but it's not a Jeep. It's actually a Polaris Razor. But from the front, it looks just like a Jeep. But then as you look around, you're like, wait a minute, something's not right here. You see the independent suspension. You see the little wheels. These are uh, bead locks on here. And then you look on the side, you're like, oh, wait a minute, this thing's a Polaris. You can tell by the hood, but it looks like an army Jeep. See inside? There's your Polaris internal area here. And as you can see on the inside in the cockpit, it's a Polaris. Look, there's a grenade shifter right there. <laughs> That's cool. Little cargo area in the back. I like their little soft top, Jeep style soft top. Look, there's a grenade handle for lifting the dump bed. That's cool. It's got reservoir shocks. Spare tire in the back, full spare tire. It's cool. Oh, look at this. He even has an ammo can back here. Don't open that. There you have it. That's a Polaris Razor that looks like a old Jeep Willys. It's cool. Perfect. Start turning, turning. There it is. All right, that's it. So check out this old army vehicle. This is an old Chevy 4x4. Used to be uh, used for military transport. But they put some portal axles on this thing. And if you don't know, these portal axles are very expensive. I mean, they can be anywhere from $10,000 each up to $50,000 each, depending on who builds them. It's got a big old, big old bumper up front with a worn winch. Got some aftermarket lights tucked away inside there. Huge Maxxis tires. What are these? These things are huge. What's the size of these things? So these are 42 inch Maxxis tires. This thing is all scratched up and dented. Yeah, because they use it. Oops. It's got a roll bar in there. In case you flip this sucker. That's pretty cool. G-Wagon, four-wheel drive SUV. It's pimped out with all kinds of goodies. And they're famous for their portal axles. Look at that. These axles definitely look different than the other ones I've seen. These are probably the axles that cost like $60,000 each. They're pretty nuts. I talked to a guy once 
at SEMA who said that's how much he paid for his axle so and they look just like these ones so I don't know these might be those those models I don't know winch in the front everything's all rhino lined that's cool carbon fiber fender flares and these tires Nitto tires these are 38s murdered out it's all blacked out carbon fiber visor up there with uh, LEDs in it look at this uh, roof rack this thing is nice G550 I guess you could buy this if you wanted to. AllStarMotorsports.com. I like this uh, little ladder rack system. And it's hard to believe this thing is over $100,000. Check out this Chevy Colorado. It's a Z71 4x4. That's pretty nice. Fab Forge bumper. I don't know, kind of LEDs, like LED headlights in there. I can see them. Fender flares, fuel wheels. Oh, look at that. Second Amendment. Yeah, baby. Check out this cool RC truck, full suspension. This one has the uh, this one has uh, brushed motors, and we bought one right here. <laughs> You're dropping it. Hold it up. There you go. So we got this one right here. It was 110 bucks at the show. Normally these things are uh, 139 bucks. Pretty cool. So check this out. It's a full custom off-road vehicle and boom there it is right there this thing is wicked man look at this thing so they did something with the headlights i don't know who makes those headlights it's obviously an fj that's lifted it's got grid wheels 37 inch tires fox shocks all kinds of custom bumper things going on here oh look at that it's got a solid axle Instead of the independent suspension like a FJ would have, it says it's got a 6.4 liter V8 with uh, 500 horsepower. Looks like it has a heads up display. Hashtag grid off road. Terraflex suspension as well. Look at that. Look at the bodywork on this thing. It's like molded in there. Here's your gas filler. Look at the back end on this thing. It's like the stock axle, believe it or not. That's crazy. Look at this. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. Wait, Logan, back up. Suicide doors, man. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, so it is a Jeep on there. I can see the Jeep dash. Yeah. Ah, you totally fooled me. I thought it was an FJ. That's cool. He totally fooled me. I thought this was an FJ, a Toyota FJ, but it's actually built off of a Jeep. Look, you can see the uh, 
light bar molded into the top there. Oh yeah, the windshield gives it away. The windshield has a Jeep thing on there. All right, so that was our day at the Off-Road Expo in Pomona, California. Pretty awesome show. We bought an RC truck and we're gonna go rip around at home. Are you excited about that? Yeah. What do you think about this show? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty amazing. All kinds of cool stuff here. But yeah, it's fun for the whole family. Have a good time out here. And we're not even here the, boat, the two days. I mean, we're only here one day. They got a demo section over there that we didn't even watch any of the demos, really. But uh, yeah, we're kind of burned out now. But we did go camping up in the uh, San Bernardino mountain area. Pretty cool. Camped and then came out here right after. Please do us a favor if you like this video, hit the like button down below to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment below to let me know what you think about the Off-Road Expo. And subscribe if you just found my channel. You never know what you're going to see here. Thanks a lot, guys.